Okay, right now what I'm doing is I'm installing the Galotech mounting system. Um, these screws here hold the panel to the support brace. And on the support brace, you have, I've run screws, three screws across the top into the studs of the wall. Uh, so far it's been really easy, just a matter of getting everything level and whatnot. I will put a little bit more up here in a few minutes. Okay, at this point I've got all of the mounting screws up here to hold the panel to the support brace. And I also ran screws across the bottom here to hold this in place. And now I'm going to mount the second panel and get that all there. And then it's going to be a matter of just figuring out which way I want this. Okay, as you can see on the bottom here, it has posts for the next panel. And the next panel on the posts, they're right here, as you can see. I know it's kind of broken, but it'll still hold. So once you have those mounted on, you run that through and then put some more screws into the studs at the bottom. All right, and as you can see, once that is installed and hung on those posts, it's a nice clean look all the way across. Matches up really well. Uh, next thing to do is just mount the last two, last three screws into the studs on the bottom and then start to figure out which way I want to get. Just to give you kind of an idea of how these mount on here, here is the magazine box. It's going to sit here like that, drop into the place. Then you have two screw holes that you can see right there. And what I'm going to end up doing is just taking a screwdriver because this is a box setup. Just take the screwdriver, put the screw on there. So you're just going to take the screwdriver, run your screw through, and screw this in place, which is kind of hard to do one handed. So, it just gives you an idea of how that mounts and how it stays secure. Alright, once your screws are installed, as you can see there, you set your mags right in place. And that'll fit up to four magazines. Okay, so I just installed the horizontal hangers. Just to show you how well these hold in with the screw that's in there. That's how well these hold in there. I'm putting quite a bit of force on there. Yeah, they kind of tweak a bit. But they're really well held in there. They're not going anywhere. This one here also. This is the buttstock side here. And this is the barrel side here. And this is actually gonna be this is actually gonna be for my shotgun, which I will put up right now. And as you can see, it fits right on there like that. And it's it's really nice. All right, so I've got it set up. I just haven't gotten everything screwed down yet because I still want to work with it a bit and make sure that everything is where I want it to be. Um, I've got a variety of lengths of my shotgun and bolt action, semi-auto 22s, and the ARs. I'm also going to be picking up another couple of the magazine um, holders and possibly a couple of the pistol holders also but you can see sorry but you can see how all of this fits together it does keep it far enough out that there's a good clear space between where the shotgun sits and where the pistol or where the uh, 22 bolt action is at and it does give you a variety of options on where you can set up the holders so they actually fit the stocks correctly but you can see that there's a variety of ways that you can set up for it to hold your barrels and for it to hold the stock to keep it from sitting right against the stock. Uh, the ARs I had to adjust a bit, mainly because I've got a 15 and a half inch handguard on the one AR and that did not allow me to put the barrel on as far down as I would like to have. However, uh, that doesn't really matter. It's not that big of a deal. But you can see how that's all set up. And like I said, I still haven't finished up. Nothing is bolted down, screwed down at this point, except for the shotgun one and the magazine holder. Um, 
overall this is a really really easy system to put together and it looks great once it's up.